Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're gonna find the area of the blue region contained by these lines and the y-axis. If you wanna try this on your own, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. The equations of these lines are given to us in standard form. I wanna rewrite them as y equals mx plus b, which is known as slope intercept form because m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept of the line. Let's take the first equation, x plus y equals five. And in order to rewrite it in slope intercept form, we need to get y by itself. So we're gonna subtract x from both sides. These x's are going to cancel so the left hand side is just going to be y and on the right hand side we have negative x plus 5 and now we have slope intercept form so i'm going to rewrite x plus y equals 5 as y equals negative x plus 5 and let's do the same thing for this lower one we'll copy it down we're going to subtract x from both sides left hand side is 2y right hand side is negative x plus 6 and then we're going to divide both sides by 2 left hand side is just y and we're going to divide each of these by 2 so negative x divided by 2 is negative 1 half x and 6 divided by 2 is 3 and now we can change this lower equation up here into slope intercept form. So now let's use our equations to find the y intercepts. This one up here, it says the y intercept is 5, so this point is going to be 0, 5. And for this equation, the y intercept is 3, so this vertex is located at 0, 3. So now that we have these two vertices, let's find this third one. And the best way to do that is set these two equations equal to each other. And that will tell us the x and the y point where they're both equal to each other. So our goal is to solve for x in this. First thing, I don't like fractions, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. The 2 will distribute to 2 times negative x is negative 2x, and 2 times 5 is equal to 10. And this will be equal to this 2 distributed to both of these. 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1, and then times x is negative x. And then 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Now we want to move both x's to the same side. If I add 2x to both sides, negative 2x and 2x cancel each other out. Negative x plus 2x is equal to 1x, and we bring down the 6. Now we want to get this x by itself, so we subtract 6 from both sides. 10 minus 6 is equal to 4, and these cancel, leaving us with just x. Now we know that the x at this intersection point is equal to 4. So we can change that to a 4. And then to find out what the corresponding y is, we can plug this 4 in 4x for either one of these equations. I think it'll be easier to do this top equation. So we're going to substitute 4 into the x, and negative 4 plus 5 is equal to 1. So the y value of this point is 1. And we don't need this anymore. In fact, now that we have the location of our vertices, we don't need our equations anymore either. So if this has a height of 3 and this has a height of 5, that means the distance is 2 in between them. And let's find this distance as well. Since this x value is 4, we're going from 0 to 4, which means this distance right here is 4. And now we really don't even need these points anymore. And let's rotate this. And now we want to find the area of this triangle. The area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. The base of this triangle is equal to 2, and the height of this triangle is equal to 4. The 1 half times 2 just cancel each other out, so we have an area of 4 units squared. So the area of this blue region is equal to 4 units squared. Now we can put a box around that. How exciting.